Greetings, greetings. Welcome to the Weekly Awakening. In today's episode, we're going to go deeper into the symbol of jail and what that means in a dream. And if you haven't already, check out the video, What Do My Dreams Mean? Uh, there's a link in the description below. Um, and that will give you more of a basic understanding of your dreams. For a quick review, a couple things to remember about dreams is that one, every dream is about you, the dreamer. Every person, place, or thing in a dream is a part of you and only you can interpret your dreams. Um, I can help you understand the symbols, but only you really know what's going on in your life, what's going on in your mind, because your dreams are a message from your inner self, from your subconscious mind to your conscious mind. Uh, and it's a reflection of how you're using your mind so that you can better understand the different ways that you um, can go about in creating the life that you want to live and becoming the person that you want to become. So that's kind of the purpose of looking at your dreams. So dreams are, like I said, a message from the inner uh, subconscious mind to the outer conscious mind and so there's it's a communication and it's a it's given in a language uh, of these two minds the universal language of the mind and this is a language of images and because we think in images so that's what this language is in and it is a language of form and function looking at the form and what is its function and then relating that function to the self or to the mind and so the the form that we're looking at today is jail so jail is is an, an imprisonment. You know, it's uh, um, it confine. It's a confinement, a confined space where you are held and in containment, f primarily for disobeying a law or being out of harmony with some sort of man-made law. So, in the dream, you know, how does that relate? That's kind of the function. And then, how does that function relate to the mind, the self? You know, so in a dream, it's going to relate limitations and confinement um, whenever you're out of harmony with universal laws. So um, there are universal laws, 13 universal laws. Um, there's a couple videos. I'll probably drop the link for uh, the first video, part one, 13 universal laws um, down in the description. You can check more about those. There's different universal laws. These laws are universal because they apply to anyone, any place, and at any time. And a lot of people know about the universal law of attraction. Um, you know, what like attracts like, you know, as you think, so you become. And so uh, one law that people don't really understand, though, is or are aware of is the law of sacrifice. You know, um, if I'm inhaling, I'm sacrificing the opportunity to exhale. If I'm exhaling, sacrificing the opportunity to inhale. If I'm standing here doing the video, I'm sacrificing the opportunity to go to sleep. If I'm sleeping, I'm sacrificing the opportunity to be out with friends. You know, there is some sort of sacrifice with all of existence. And so um, that's another universal law. Uh, law of infinity, anything is possible. You know, that's another universal law. And these laws are at play whether you're working with them or not. They're working. They're at work. It's just whether you are in harmony with these laws or if you're out of harmony with these laws. And at times when you're out of harmony with these laws, it can create and develop a sort of a confinement or restraint or restriction within your life because you're out of harmony with these laws because you have developed these limitations within your mind you know if um if i'm out of harmony with um you know the law of cause and effect meaning uh, as you think so you become so if my thoughts are, are more uh, it's more my unconscious thoughts that are creating my life you know if i'm thinking negative images of I don't want this, I don't want that, I don't want this, I don't want that, then I'm just creating the image of what I don't want. And so that's what I'm communicating to the subconscious mind in order for it to create. Well, that's kind of out of being out of harmony. That's going to produce an inharmonious uh, relationship with that universal law of cause and effect because I'm only creating images of what I don't want. So what I don't want is going to manifest. And so now I'm going to then believe that my life is uh, tough life is a struggle. You know, um, success is hard to get. I gotta work hard to be able to, uh, you know, get what I want. When that isn't true, that's that belief is actually out of harmony with the universal law. I don't have to work. I don't have to work hard. I know plenty of people who didn't work hard and got tons of money. You know, I mean, you you can look at plenty of people who have inherited a lot of money. They didn't necessarily work hard for that money. They just received it. And so that isn't universally true. Because it doesn't apply to everyone. So it's not universally true. What is universally true is that uh, we all create our own reality with our thoughts. It's just whether those thoughts are conscious or unconscious. So these, this inharmonious uh, relationship with the universal law might have created a limiting belief that has restricted and confined me and kind of imprisoned me. I'm kind of imprisoned by this belief 
and this limitation this, that I've placed upon myself. And that's what prison is going to represent, being um, kind of confined and trapped because I've been out of harmony with universal laws. So that's kind of what you're going to want to do if you have prison in a dream. If you're in prison in a dream or you're visiting someone in prison in a dream, maybe you're breaking out of prison. That's a great dream. You know, um, is you'll want to look at, you know, the 13 universal laws and in what ways throughout my life am I in harmony with these laws and in what ways am I out of harmony? And then when I'm out of harmony, what can I do to become, to be in more harmony with this particular universal law that I experience um, in harmony with? And so, uh, you know, a couple things to look at is like, you know, um, maybe do you feel like trapped by your past? You know, like, do maybe uh, previous choices that you've made make you feel like, you know, you're kind of confined and restricted in what you can do in life? You know, maybe, um, you know, I quit my job without having a new job, and so now I feel very, uh, you know, limited in what I can do. You know, so that might feel like you're in prison because you've made previous choices in the past that have created this reality that you're now in. And so then you want to, you know, that'll kind of help you to identify the different experiences that you're having in your life that are a result of being out of harmony with the universal laws. So you want to really want to pay attention to that. Like I said, there's a video on here. There's a series that's ongoing that describes each individual universal law individually going deeper. But there are two videos that kind of give a basic overview of the 13 universal laws uh, to help you to understand those so that you can become uh, work more at being in harmony with those laws. So, uh, so that's kind of the brief description of uh, if you, a jail or prison shows up in your dream, what you kind of want to look at and look for and different things to, um, to implement into your life to um, follow, uh, listen to that message, follow, follow the guidance of what your dreams are trying to tell you. So for more on dreams, you can always check out my book. Uh, there's a link for it below. It's called Life is But a Dream, Understanding Yourself Through Understanding Your Dreams. There's a ton of more information on dreams in there. Uh, be on the lookout, subscribe uh, for more videos on different symbols in the dreams. If you see a symbol, if you have a symbol that you want to see um, on a video but you don't see the video for it, just shoot me a message or email me, selfawareness3 at gmail.com, uh, and I'll see about making a video, putting it in there. Uh, if you have a dream you want interpreted or have more questions about dreams, feel free to comment below, uh, send an email, send a message. Check out the website, www.awakenwithin.us. And also we have the Weekly Awakening uh, Dream Blog, uh, vlog, I guess, the, the live stream on uh, Facebook and Instagram at the Weekly Awakening. So check that out. That's on Wednesdays, uh, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And I hope this video was of benefit to you in any way, even the smallest way, is uh, for, help fulfill the purpose of the video. Uh, so as always, I leave you in peace.